Hello guys, we made the poll on the YouTube which video you want to see next and the majority decided that we want to see the Kendra houses. First four, seven and ten. These are the foundation. These are personal houses. Most important everything is the whole Purusha Arta, we could say. We have the full life when we have the first house, a little bit. Dharma, guidance, health, fourth house, spirituality, seven. Our desires are fulfilled. And tenth house, we of course have this security, financial security that we can go with our desires. So first, four, seven, and tenth, this is the topic of our video. And when I started preparing the notes for this video, immediately the perfectionism came and we need to give this rule, that rule, so many from the Parashara Jyotish course, from the Mantra Shastra, from the Jaimini Upadesha Sutra. So I was uh, seeing what we could share here on this YouTube channel. And uh, then I thought, no, let's do it simple and always we can upgrade. We can do this um, version second, version third and so on. So that is the first approach to the Kendra. And uh, let's see how this will go. If you always wanted to have this foundation of the foundation of Jyotish or Vedic Astrology, then this video is for you. If you feel that I have omitted something essential, vital, important related to the Kendra houses, please feel free to comment below and we can benefit all from this. So when we talk about the houses, because in Vedic astrology, we have this trio. We have the houses, signs, planets. So houses are showing the areas of life. Very important. The whole life is divided into this 12 areas and we have them grouped. We have this good and bad houses. We have growth houses. We have challenging houses. We have security houses. Many groups are there. And today we are starting with the most important group, the Kendra, first four, seven and ten. So houses are attitude, the lord of these houses, because each house will be lorded by some planets, right? We said we have house, sign, the lord. So, for example, first house is showing me, seventh house is showing relationship. In these houses, there will be some signs and the lords of the houses are based on those signs in these houses. So if you have Aries in the first house, Mars is lording Aries, so Mars is lording your first house. If your ascendant is Cancer, Moon is always lording Cancer, so then if Cancer is your first house, Moon is lording your first house. So Moon will decide how you think. And then by position of the moon, you can now understand what is your attitude to this world, where is your awareness, where is your focus, how you are walking, where is your direction of life. So Lagna Lord, Ascendant Lord, is based on the sign in the first house. And the Lord is showing interaction. So the house is attitude, the Lord of the house is interaction. And also remember, we were talking about this allegory of wires and the substance is going through those wires like electricity and then this whatever connected areas are there, then this is showing this is living in your life. So without substance, these wires are deaf or they are fake, we could say. So the Karaka must bless. You can have seven house and seven lord, but if Venus is not throwing those sparkles of love or some blessings, then you will not be happy in the relationship. So the Venus must also agree. Venus must give this blessing, this vote. Yes, you will enjoy relationship. So the Karaka. Karaka is just the planet which is giving this blessing. And the Karaka must be strong, must be in a good house. And what is very important, and many people forget this, must have very nice, smooth relationship with the house and the Lord in question. For example, Venus, not only have to be strong and in nice house, but also need to have nice relationship with the seven and seven Lord. The more things are there in the Rashi and in the Navamsha, because Navamsha can modify the initial prediction. The more of these are present, then you can say there will be everything will be more smooth and easy. You will basically get what you want. If there is if there are some problems, afflictions, combustions, war, uh, debilitation, dushtana, bad relationship with seventh house and seventh lord, the more challenging will be the relationships. This is the basic things. And then on top of that, we are adding more details to build the whole story. 
So the houses are also very good when we are talking about the patterns, because we can say that we have the whole life and in the Rashi chart, especially, there will be some connections. And just like in psychology, we have those patterns we are always repeating is like the habit. Also, we have some kind of karmic habits, and these are based on those Lord's connection. And of course, we have the Varga charts to be able to differentiate between the different situation, different houses, different children, different marriages, which can be completely different from each other. But the patterns will be the same and they are nicely signified by those wires, doors, lordship in the Rashi chart. And each house has its Karaka, the Bava Karaka. And this is a little bit different than the Lord because the Lord will be changing based on the sign in the house, but the Bava Karaka, the significator of the house, which is always the same, no matter which sign is there, is also very important because he will be like the uh, standard blessing level of blessing related to the specific area of life. For example, fifth house is about the children for men and Jupiter will be the Karaka. So second, fifth, ninth and eleven, these houses of children, spirituality, higher learning, specialization and wealth, they are all connected to Jupiter naturally. Tenth house is all about the career life, so growth is very important, therefore the Mercury is the main Karaka. Relationship, seventh house, of course, Venus. Fourth house, shelter, trust, mind, mother, moon is the Karaka. And for the first house, our uh, health is the sun. So first house is sun, fourth house is the moon, seventh is Venus, and tenth house is the Mercury. For second, fifth, ninth, and eleventh, it's the Jupiter. Third and sixth, Mars, eight and twelfth is Saturn. So these are the main Caracas for the houses. There are also additional Caracas. Like for the fourth house, we have many additional Caracas. For cars, it's Venus. For properties, Mars get to Saturn and so on. For Lagna, the main is Sun, but also for intelligence, we have the Jupiter. So there are the secondary Caracas for the houses. But the main one you need to understand to show how the house is opening to you from the perspective of external smoothness how the house is blessed by this external situation. Because you may have perfect attitude, you may have perfect interaction, the house and the lords are good, but Karaka may not give that hand, <laughs> blessing hand on that house. So you need to also have nice Karaka in relationship to both ascendant, house and the lord in question. Also, we have a different rules to understand or to read what the houses want to tell us how to decipher this language of uh, Rishis, the language of karma. First one could be Bhavat, Bhava. Uh, we count from Asana to that house and the same distance from this house. For example, from Lagna to Fort is a happiness. Fort is about happiness, but Fort from the Fort could be more happiness. And Fort from the Fort from the Fort, tenth house could also be related to happiness. Therefore, the Brihat Parashara Hora Shastra, the most ancient and most important text regarding Vedic astrology, is showing that tenth house is about happiness. So we have this eight houses about the death. Eight from eight is third house. So third house also will be related to this. Also in the um, work, right? We are ending job in the third and eight houses. Dashan. So Bhavad Bhavam is one principle, the other is Aruda. Aruda is showing how the house is manifesting in a way we can measure and categorize the house. Otherwise, it's just some floating abstract things. But unless we are seeing the Aruda, we don't know what is really there manifested, which everyone can judge and see objectively, but also in the same time is in the mind of other people. So Aruda is very much related to how others are perceiving this thing and how this is manifested. Uh, so it is already in such stage of development that it has the name and category, like a marriage. On one hand, marriage can be in the mind of all the people, even when it's not uh, confirmed by the ritual of marriage. So this is like a deal, like agreement be between the two people. Then agreement is happening in the minds of these two people. But on the other way, it's the manifestation of a love, 
right into some kind of social contract social agreement so we can put some kind of name or we can at least state its existence so that is the Aruda. Then, of course, something which we discussed already is we are counting from the house to the Lord. This is also something important. This will show more how the action which is related to that house is not specifically seen from the perspective of native, but how this works for that activity in question. For example, if seventh Lord is in sixth from seventh house or eight from seventh house or twelve from seventh house. This may show that the partner is unavailable. So the person is in a such placement that the house is not benefiting from it. It's not available for the house. Let's end with the connection or relationship between the Karaka and the house and the Lord. This is very, very important. For example, Lagna Lord. What is the relationship of Ascendant Lord to Sun and Jupiter? What is the relationship between Second Lord of Wealth and Jupiter? very important for lord and the moon this will tell a lot about both mother and our mind Fourth lord and venus will be all about relationship if fourth lord to venus is in 12 then you may be losing cars or you may be losing the uh, comforts in life because these both will also show this okay guys so i think we will end here and uh, maybe we will be going now into each Kendra specifically. So uh, thanks a lot for being here on this channel. If you have found any value in this video, please don't forget to hit that thumbs up. Subscribe for more videos like this uh, for one-on-one -on -one consultation when we will be analyzing your chart with the Dasha, all the Vargas, all the Yogas. Then you can uh, hit me up with the email here, join our Discord community and see you in the next one. If you are still hungry then, please consider watching this one.